so in this video uh, let us take our uh, application back 132 there is a windows 10 and another server i have that have nothing so i am doing it once again what i have done in last video right click and add to the application job and there is a new job which is okay sure application okay and go next find the host where you want to replicate so i wanted to replicate this host to 134 so select it it will automatically pick up your data store and just go next select the backup repository and go next and apply check this run the job when i click finish and that's it now you need to go to the home and in the application you can see the job has been started and it is processing so let us wait let us finish the application part so a uh, replication has been done and it is ready as you can see now i am planning to connect my both host from the client software that is vSphere client this is 132 and another is ESXi host that is 134 so <clears throat> We can see 132 does have a Windows 10 and 134 server does have a replication copy of it. Okay. In the replication name, it has written like Windows 10 then replica. So replication is there. We need to set plan a failover, a manual failover by just going to failover now. Okay and when you do failover the replica machine will be automatically on and you do failover when your main machine is not running so either you can switch it off or you can make it to not to run okay in my case i'm not i'm leaving it default because it's not a production environment and on the status if you see success then only it get completed so as of now it is in progress right now a success now and if I go to 134 server I can see the replica server is automatically on so as of now it is a temporary replication uh, temporary replication I have an option right now I can undo it and go back but if I say plan permanent failover, permanent failover mean I wanted to replace the host one. You know, suppose host one server I do not want to use and I want everything to be shifted to the host two. So in that case is when you are upgrading from lower hardware to upper, you can make a permanent failover. Okay, you have even options that you can come back to one if you make undo failover. A permanent failover will make your things permanently to the server number host 2 so just a very simple click and right click and permanent failover now the status is in again in progress and you have to wait until it get complete or you get some error of it So it is in progress yeah so let's open the Veeam and find it out whether progress has been succeed now it does not matter if I remove my ESXi server one completely from the production environment because it has been replicated. Thank you.